Hey guys, Jim Bounds at Motorhome Rehab Ranch, and I'm in Humble, Texas. Came to see uh, Bill here. Bill has got a special machine, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Bill, tell us about this thing. Um, we're about to look at a 1978 GMC Royale 26 foot beast <laughs> that we've owned since brand new. Um, now, brand new, what does that mean? Brand new means we bought it. Uh, in 1978 from Gilman GMC Motorhome. Uh, the Gilmans are friends of ours. We're an automobile dealer here in Houston as well. Uh, we bought four or five of them from them. I think it was one every year till they, this was the final year they were gonna make them and we kept this one. Uh, it's never been titled in any state. Never, never been titled to a customer. It's still on the manufacturer's statement of origin, um, which just means it's never, never been titled. Uh, I think it was lost in space until 2007 when I brought it to you. They'd been hunting for this one. They didn't know what happened to it. They didn't know what happened. Because there wasn't any record of it. Tell them about that when you brought it to me. Uh, about your dad. In 2007, I pulled a trick on my dad. Um, we hadn't used it much, and it was in need of some repairs just from sitting uh, and not being used. And I told my dad I thought I was going to sell it, and he was mad at me immediately. It had memories and whatever. We didn't have to sell it. Uh, but I originally decided not to sell it, and as a surprise to him, I found Jim, and he and I talked multiple times, and um, decided I was going to completely, you know, frame off, completely redo the thing, uh, and bring it into the, you know, two thousands. That's what we did. Yeah. Uh, I drove it there to him actually broke down about a hundred miles from here, taking it to him, yeah. uh, but made it finally after about twice as long as I thought it was going to take. And Jim, over the course of almost a year, uh, completely redid every, everything in it. I mean, there wasn't anything that wasn't touched. And then it was delivered back to your dad. I actually flew out on like December the 20th or so, right before Christmas to Orlando to Jim's shop, picked it up, drove it home, and the next day or so, surprised my dad with it. Um, he, he again thought I had sold it for a year. He'd been mad at me for a year, and uh, we surprised him, and he was very happily surprised that he had his motorhome back in a lot better condition than what, uh, well, in a, a better than new condition, I would I would even say. Yeah, it really worked out. But in the, what, the 15, 15 years you've had, how many miles on it? 70 something hundred miles we've put on it in 15 years. So it hasn't, it hasn't gotten near the use that I frankly thought it would. My dad's been dead about half that time. He died in 2016 uh, and it's been used very little since then. Not only has it been well kept by a dealer, <clears throat> take a look here. This is his home on a four post lift up in the air. We brought it down just so we could show you. The color of this thing is not just red. It's it's razor red. He decided he wanted to match. What was that? I had a 2007 Harley Davidson uh, CVO Road King that was had a paint job called Razor Red, and it had it was this color red, which is a little bit unique, but it also had uh, gold leaf in it, and it just was really really striking, and I wanted it to match. And I actually had a trailer that I painted to match this motorhome at that time, too. When, when he told me the color he wanted, I went to my uh, painter and I told him what we wanted. He said, well, they sell it in ounces because it was so expensive. So he said, Gene, I take care of it. I take care of it. He mixed, mixed it up, not using their formula, but it looks identical. It's identical. If you uh, look up Walter D'Andrea, Walter D'Andrea painted this thing. Uh, his his uh, his forte is Prevost. Um, I didn't feel that my painter was ready, so we we actually farmed this out to a high end painter. Come take a look at this thing. Got got um, Ed Jones fiberglass bumpers on it. Honda water cooled six thousand watt generator, quad bag system. In a minute, we're going to put it up in the air, and you can see it's got aluminum radiator in it. And don't forget, Jim, this is the only GMC SS out there. <laughs> Dealer cat, GMC SS. We rebranded it from a GMC Royale to be a GMC, GMC SS. SS. Yeah, I saw it on the front. Come take a look here in the front. This was this was a real unique. I don't know what the process was. He did that. But that was amazing. 
There you go. A Royale SS. Come on inside. Coach has the T-slider windows. I always like the doors. Always wanted to make something special with a door. So we did a little logo presentation there. Come on in. Get some lights on in this baby. Avonite countertops in the in the bathroom and in the galley. Uh, all new upholstery. Got Max uh, uh, Mac Daddy Dash in it. Of course it does. One thing it does have the two new style air conditioners that yeah the old, two the penguins old ones. yes yeah this has two penguins two fifteen thousand BTU penguins in it. <clears throat> something that he wanted and uh, we put it in here it's got a whip bar let's see you can you can do uh, let's see whiskey vodka uh, scotch gin and rum it enables to keep you keep the bottles of alcohol underneath the bar and, yeah. and they're the stable and not dumping over and you're not having to try to pour while you're going down the road or sitting still either one yeah. this is a twin bed <clears throat> it's made up into a master Get some lights on. There we go. Okay. Cross cabinet in the back. Got the bolsters back there. Flat screen with a CD player in it. It still works. Yeah. My right. grandbaby's like laying back there yeah. and uh, and watching movies. Okay, the bathroom is solid surface countertops. Nor cold fridge, yes, yeah, separate shower. <clears throat> so this is a coachman. This is a Royale. Now, they originally had 70 something thousand miles on it. So, I mean, with another seven, it's still under 100,000 miles. Yes, it is. Well, I, I don't think it's got a total of 80,000 on it from yeah. zero. Very nice coach. Now, this is the kind of machine, if you're really wanting to get into a GMC and you want to have one that you don't have to build it, takes about a year to do this. If you want one like that, this is one. And this one is available. This is going to be available here soon. Let's go look that up, huh? Yeah, let's look at the bottom of it. He has done some amazing things to the undercarriage. I'm going to flip these lights off real quick if we're going to put it up. I got them. Man, it's so nice to see this thing. It's been a long time since I saw this baby. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, get the lights out. Yep, yeah, he's got the switches. Everybody, we, we talked about the switches here recently. Uh, he doesn't have the one wire alternator or the Simlac, but that's easy. Again, this thing was 15 years ago. It lives up on the, up on the lip. No, but seriously, if you guys are, if you're wanting to get into a GMC and you want one that's really, really nice, because usually, if you've looked, you know, you're going to find survivors, you're going to find things that were done not un unprofessional. This machine is everything that you're looking for.
He even has new emergency brake. And he did the, the rollers on it, the way we talked about. See here. We got rollers on it. Jim, flip those two. Okay, let's go look up underneath Down for here, me, babe. please. I got this one. Okay. I'll get it. Talk about the bottom there, Bill. Do what? Talk about the bottom there. It's good. You can see it's good. You got the aluminum uh, fuel tank. Frame's been detailed. It's got a, uh, still got the two tank system in it. Original tanks. In great shape. Got a Ragusa transmission pan, <coughs> new mufflers. This has got a monster transmission in it. It's got one of my motors in it. I'm, is it a roller cam or is it flat tappet? Do you remember? I don't remember. It's Taylor. If, is that, that, it was from the company, I believe. Yeah, well, the monster did the, the transmission. Oh, yes. I'm talking about the, the motor, I think, was a Taylor reman or something. They oh, built. Okay, yeah. Jasper. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's exactly they were what it built was. in in Jasper's uh, authentic engine division. Headers, of course. It's got it all. Like I said, guys, I've already said it twice. This is what you want to look for. You can you can call this a, a barn find. <laughs> <laughs> no more than it's been used. That's true. That's right. All right. Well. Well, we're here in Humble, Texas. I wanted to come and see Bill and see the beast. And uh, you guys are interested in something like this, give me a call. I'll put you in touch with him and uh, see what you can work out. Thanks for a few minutes. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks, guys. I hope it finds a new home. A good home. A good home.